total how many offers you had i have two offers okay. uh, from mind tree and uh, infosys uh, i hope people learn from this particular podcast see he's coming from a upsc background before that he did bca he had 2.5 years of he joined as a linux administrator and then made an internal switch to data analyst which is quite amazing right if kushal can do it anybody can do it any specific word for i neuron it's phenomenal so guys we have with us kushal saini and who has recently made a transition uh, fr- from upsc background completely he was preparing for government jobs and then he became a linux administrator and finally made a transition to data science so uh, we'll get to know more about his journey we'll get to more know more about kushal his preparation strategy and many more thing first of all kushal welcome to this podcast i Thank hope you, uh, the outcome of this podcast is to tell others like how to prepare properly and how probably your story motivates other with respect to the transition story that you have so to start with uh, kushal uh, l- uh, tell us about your background your education history and all right let's go ahead with that uh, first of all thank you so much sir for inviting me uh, it's a dream come true for me so and uh, sir let's uh, it's uh my as this is my name is kushal and uh, i completed my uh, higher secondary in 2012 and uh, then i was uh, uh, in graduation uh, in guru nanak dev university amritsar mm-hmm. so in 2015 i completed my graduation so it's mm-hmm. a bca mm-hmm. uh, so after that uh, like previously i was in my hometown in punjab amritsar mm-hmm. so after that i, I moved into delhi Mm-hmm. and start preparing for government exams mm-hmm. so in till 2018 i was preparing for government exams so after that i uh, just changed my mind and uh, moved mm-hmm. in moved in to it mm-hmm. okay great so uh, kushal now uh, uh, since you have already become a data analyst you know uh, what was the preparation strategies that you have taken because see you uh, if you are coming from upsc background i think that part of time that you have invested right you have forgotten about coding and all even though you come from bca background so how was your preparation strategy to get into data analyst and i think this uh, was an yes. internal switch within the same company right yes yes yeah. Yeah. yes uh, as the 2018 i started my journey as a system administrator so 1.8 years i am working there so just uh, like i want to in data analytics but i don't i don't know how to prepare for that one so mm-hmm. like we all know there are huge resources over the internet and i am just confusing first day watching someone's video and next day i'm uh, just forgetting and watching someone else's video so i i think when i got uh, uh, about you like on youtube so i think that time your subscriber also under 1 lakh so okay. w- when i subscribe your channel so where i think i started watching your videos and uh, that time i haven't enrolled in inero but mm-hmm. uh, when i start preparing i preparing for i am also taking notes so mm-hmm. then uh, uh, like i heard about fsds batch mm-hmm. so yeah so where i got a complete idea so already i uh, two years of experience i already has been and i i know about a, a little bit i have information about my current company's project how i can uh, help them uh, like using some data analytics uh, stuff and in my current company uh, in, in before 2020 data analytics team was not that mm. uh, big like there are only two three people uh, working mm. there so yeah after a fsds batch i like it's you are a, from fsds november batch i guess or it's feb- fsds to the 2020 before that i oh, yeah, feb got, batch feb batch okay yeah okay it's in november batch sir. november batch okay great yes okay before okay. that i am uh, uh, like your community sessions i used mm. to follow mm. before that they okay. are like Notice so yes. how uh, like how did i neuron help you to probably become a data analytics uh, or to data analyst or to get into a data analytics industry your experience with i neuron you can talk about that uh, yes uh, like uh, like when uh, before that i am uh, particularly uh, like when i handling the, the data so my complete per- perspective towards data is changed completely changed so mm-hmm. now i know how to build a complete like end to end pipeline like from beginning to end from database end 
from uh, data processing, pre-processing, feature selection, and after that, when I am deploying deploying that project. So, like uh, as we all know, when we are working in a company, th there are lots of stuff stuff we have to work mm -hmm. on. We can't say we mm -hmm. are only doing some visualization or report. So, in mm -hmm. current company as well, I am working all together. There are multiple things I have to done. So, yeah, in which I think all things I have learned from my FSDS experience, like mm -hmm. uh, there are Power BI stuff, uh, business analyst stuff, and Python stuff, statistics stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, before going with your interview experience, like did you had any internal interview also to probably get into data analyst or? Uh... Uh, yes, uh, I have... Uh give uh, three interviews uh, okay just tell uh, about that experience overview like what all questions they specifically asked and all yes first interview uh, uh at genpac mm -hmm. so where i have cleared two rounds uh first one for a coding round mm -hmm. and which i have cleared and second one for a sql round mm -hmm. and a sql round as well uh there are five to six queries i have to write mm -hmm. and uh, i have written i think Almost all queries I have written. Uh, oh. And second interview was at Infosys. Mm -hmm. So it's for a, a Spotify client. So mm -hmm. that one I have cleared. And also I, go, I received offer letter. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, yes. And third interview at uh, it's uh, Mind3. It's mm -hmm. Chennai based. Mm -hmm. So yeah, due to location parameters, I was not able to. Uh, so total how many offers you had like that? I have two offers okay. uh, from Mind3 and uh, uh, Infosys. Uh, Genpac, okay. it's uh, uh, fine with interviews, but I haven't received any calls oh. from there. Okay, okay, perfect. In the interview, what all things they asked you? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there are three, four rounds. Uh, one for coding round, where uh, basically they are asking like how to handle data, like pandas, mm. questions, like uh, if I talk talking about more deep, like uh, some functions like uh, concat functions, merge functions, join mm -hmm. functions, and uh, some uh, pre-processing pandas profiling as well, mm -hmm. uh, some EDA techniques. Mm -hmm. And they are giving some scenario and asking how to handle the scenario. Please explain in front of uh, in front of camera, live camera. So yeah, in in the second and third round, like SQL in SQL case as well, they are asking mm -hmm. to write queries, uh, giving some scenarios and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I think uh, uh, if I I would say I haven't learned anything apart from FSDS. It's okay. completely all questions. Uh, like if we follow complete uh, course, like if uh, if we pro uh, properly prepare for assignments, mm -hmm. we can answer each questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. We just have to practice. Okay, great. How was the experience with iNeuron mentors? About the teaching, uh, was it good? Yeah, personally, I would say from uh, like uh, beginning uh, with Sudanshu, it's great, I think. Uh, and after that, uh, when you started statistics, uh, mm -hmm. also it's great. After that, uh, uh, there is Sunny. And uh, I, mm -hmm. I have a uh, lot of sessions with Sunny as well. There, there are doubt clearing sessions as well mm -hmm. and uh, weekend classes as well. So mm -hmm. lots of uh, like Sunny, Krishna and... and uh, Sudanshu. So three mentors. Great. I love great. It. great. Amazing. Uh, okay. Like talk about those challenges that probably you face to make this transition. Yes. Uh, about challenges. Like, as I said, I have 2.5 years of gap. And uh, also uh, I was in system administrator where I, my shift was uh, like mm. night, sometimes day, sometimes night. So I, I'm not able to uh, utilize my and not able to invest some time in to learn data analytics. Mm. So yeah, I uh, when I joined iNeuron, so mm. I heard about weekend classes. So on weekends, I have uh, started preparing for data analytics and also I think one Excel sheet you have shared about mm. a schedule, how we can schedule mm. and mm. like uh, coding in three months. So after that, Excel, Power BI and uh, Tableau stuff. Mm. So yeah, yeah, these challenges are there. We have to prepare, prepare for that one. Like uh, some people are doing a 12 hour shift, some are doing a 10 hour shift. So we have to uh, like uh, invest one to two hours daily to if we want any transitions. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's talk about uh, those things. Uh, like, uh, see, there are many people who have career gap. There are many people who may not be getting the interview call. So what advice or what strategy would you like to give them? You know, because just to get motivated and probably stay on the course, because at one point of time, I think anybody will be able to crack. Yes, uh, uh, as per my personal experience, uh, when I was preparing for government exams, so mm -hmm. uh, I must say, uh, it's not wasted. You you are using mm -hmm. that experience in some other way. In mm -hmm. like I would say, uh, when I was preparing for government exams, so I mm -hmm. learned much about mathematics stuff. So now mm -hmm. I am using that. Stuff. Mm. So there are multiple techniques in data analytics as well. So we can use that experience in data analytics. So if someone uh, from different background or someone is a gap, so mm. he can prepare some uh, like some amazing project projects and mm. use that stuff in that project. Mm, true. And oh, yes. uh, obviously we say that data science is all about multiple domains also. Like you may get any yes. domain problem statement. So obviously your UPSC preparation has also helped uh, yes. in this particular preparation and getting a job. That is that is super amazing. So that that can basically say us that everything is important, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So looking at the next five years, right? Uh, would you want to settle with your current achievement or would you like to do further, make a career transition towards data science as such? Yes, uh, when I uh, taken uh, FSDS batch, so my still goal is to become data scientist. So currently I'm working as a data analyst, but I'm still learning. I'm mm. still uh, using my weekends uh, on mm. uh, one neuron, I neuron portal and learning stuff. So mm. I just want to move into data scientist. So mm. yeah, in my current uh, organization as well, uh, we are here applying multiple techniques and multiple mm. creating multiple projects to uh, mm. to get into uh, like to apply data scientist like mm. data any techniques here as well. Mm. So this is my full, uh, like uh, I would say my goal to become data mm. scientist. Great, amazing. Uh, now, uh, Kushal, let's play some rapid fire round, okay? Now, in this rapid fire round, I'll just ask you one question. Whatever thing comes in your mind first, just answer without thinking much. Okay. 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 Currently, what is the first word that is coming to your mind? Uh, it's no words. It's a dream come true. <laughs> who is a role model? Someone who inspires you the most? Uh, my brother. Brother. Elder one or younger one? Uh, it's an elder brother. Elder brother. Any specific word for I neuron? Uh, it's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay. What is your biggest fear? Uh, these kind of interviews, podcast. <laughs> okay, that is a fear. <laughs> no, you should not be afraid of this, right? You are just sharing your experience, which will be super beneficial for others, also, right? Okay. Uh, whenever you hear about chatbot, uh, chat GPT. What is the first word that comes to you? Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, I'm using a lot. Yeah. <laughs> for making a code right, right? <laughs> great, great. Kushal, uh, so thank you for your time. Uh, this was an amazing podcast. Uh, I hope people learn from this particular podcast. See, he's coming from a UPSC background. Before that, he did BCA. He had 2.5 years of... He joined as a Linux administrator and then made an internal switch to data analyst which is quite amazing, right? So, and he also had two more offers, right? As suggested, like Mindtree and, uh, Mindtree and Infosys, right? Infosys, yes. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Kushal can do it. Anybody can do it. But it's all like, you just need to be disciplined. You need to work hard. You need to have that consistency. I hope I'm I'm telling it right, right, Kushal? Uh, yes. Kushal, any final thing, any final motivation that you want to tell to the audience, uh, you know? who probably are not able to clear the interviews, who are still preparing, working hard, anything? Yes, uh, I would say like we have to be consistent. Like uh, when we are learning something and we are like motivate, motivated for 10 to 15 days and learning stuff, after that we forget things. We have to be consistent each day. Like uh, when you are giving some interviews, write down all the questions they have asked. And just prepare for that. When you are uh, going in next round, so 
so you yeah. should have complete idea what they have asked previously mm. so you can't just forget the uh, questions they have already asked to you and you haven't even seen that questions mm. so just prepare that stuff and if something is not like you are not understanding something just mm. do google and uh, con- uh, concern with your uh, like mentor and clear that stuff mm. and you should like have complete idea what you are saying in front of interviewer mm. you you can't just explain like uh, it's not uh, like mugging up when we are mugging up something so you have to be uh, in depth knowledge of that topic i would say okay amazing so thank you kushal for your amazing uh, feedback and obviously your learning experience and your transition story so guys this was it from our side uh, yes uh, i will i'll see you all in the next podcast thank you kushal thank you everyone